Hey all physics lovers, this is Prajesh Chaudhary and you're watching the Quantum Guru. In this video I'm going to discuss this question of Pathfinder from current electricity. This is a build up your understanding question number 13. So as you can see in the screen, this uh, there is a circuit and we have to find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. So we'll solve it using KVL. So what I want to do, I just want to uh, put a battery between terminals A and B don't want to show the whole battery so suppose the positive terminal of battery is at uh, a and the negative is b so potential of a with respect to b suppose v that is the v is the emf of the battery so here the potential is plus v and here potential is zero and if a current goes from here this current i goes here and leaves from b the same current i in the circuit that I have not shown, uh, this I will go here, here, and there is a battery, and that will flow like this. So, if this, on putting the terminals of terminals A and B, a battery V, a current flows I from A to B, so the equivalent resistance between A and B can be immediately written as a RAB is equal to uh, V by I. And now, let's see the symmetry of the problem suppose current i this current that goes into a is splits into two parts in this part suppose current is x so from here uh, kcl kirchhoff's current law the remaining current would be uh, i minus x that is sure see the symmetry this is one ohm this is one ohm this is three ohm this is three ohm all these thing these four are same so the symmetry permits me that permits me to say that if the current here is x so current here should also be x current here is i minus x current here should be i minus x so i'm writing current here is i minus x so the current here would be x as i proposed so current here on this 2 ohm let me assume that current is y so on this node apply the KCL Kirchhoff's current law sum of this and this current is equal to this so this current will be this minus this so this current would be how much uh, x minus y you can cross check if you add these two you will get this so x minus y plus y is x same way I want to apply KCL here current here will be such that this plus this will be this so this will be this minus this so it means this current is equal to y minus i minus x that is x plus y minus i and i can cross check that if i add these two i will get this so in these two i minus x and x minus i will get cancelled we will get only y that is this so that is fine and here also add these two to get this and you will get this if you add these two so we are getting here from uh, i minus x and this minus x plus x will get add up to zero so here the current will be i minus y and now let me write the plus minus across the resistors So now let me apply Kirchhoff's voltage law on this loop. I will apply in the clockwise fashion. So in going from here to here, I will write the sum of all potential difference. In a element resistor, potential difference is IR. And you can see that all the resistors are same. So I can take uh, R common. So that will be how much? Uh, two common so here uh, plus y plus here enter at the positive i'm going in the clockwise fashion so here here i have taken and here uh, two is common so plus x plus y minus i this is done and then on this on this i am entering at the negative so minus two into i minus y two is outside so minus of 
i minus 5 and then here I am entering at the negative so minus uh, 2 into x minus y and that add up to 0 so let me explain again so here uh, potential drop is 2 into y here potential drop is x plus y minus i into 2 so that is 2 into x plus y minus i here potential drop is minus of 2 into i minus y so minus of 2 into i minus y and here potential drop is uh, minus 2 into x minus y like this so now simplify all those things so that is a uh, y plus x plus y minus i minus i and that will become plus y and minus x plus y add up to zero so this x and minus x will get cancelled and 1 2 3 4 4 y is equal to 2 i so y is equal to i by 2 and that is my equation 1 now let's take this loop once again i will go in the clockwise fashion now the resistors are different starting from here i'll go like this and will write the all the potential drops so in crossing this uh, how much that will be 1 into x 1 into x and then here on going through this 2 ohm plus 2 into uh, x minus y and then on this 3 below and I will enter at the minus so minus 3 into i minus x and that add up to 0 And now from here to here, the potential difference from here to here is V. And this potential difference I can write by the sum of PD across these three, 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 3 ohm. Plus minus I have written. So potential difference V is equal to PD across 1 ohm is uh, 1 into X. PD across 2 ohm is 2Y. PD across 3 ohm is uh, 3 into i minus x put the value of x and y so this is x is equal to 2 by 3 i so 2 i by 3 y is equal to i by 2 so 2 y is equal to uh, i 3 i minus x is 2 i by 3 so that is a uh, 2 by 3 i so this is 2 i by 3 plus i and this is i and that is i by 3 so i 3 into i by 3 is just i so 2i by 3 plus 2i so that would be uh, 8i by 3 8i by 3 that is a third equation let me write this the zeroth equation so from the zeroth equation rab is equal to v by i so rab finally is uh, v by i and you can see from equation 3 v by i is 8 by 3 so that is our answer 8 by 3 ohm so equivalent resistance between a and b is 8 by 3 that is our answer thank you